They asked me, are you Radhika? I said, who? No. And she said, you're an actress. I said, what? No. Hey, oh, this is Radhika. Hello everybody, this is Priyam. And of course, Radhika Apte is in this video with me because you're omnipresent now. How, how much do you like that tag? I think it's old news now. Why though? I love it. Of course it. it's old news. It's not old news. It's 2019 now. Well, it's just begun. But like, are you, did you enjoy any of the memes? Are you, do you have a favourite meme? I think I've forgotten them. It's <laughs> been a while. I try not to live in the past, so I don't know. Okay, I guess that's a good, good way to start off 2019. Okay. So I actually want to ask you that so many times you specifically, every time that you want to ask any like dumb questions during all your PR rounds, you're one of the few people who are just like, listen, that's a stupid question. So I, you should know this about me, that the only reason I'm not famous is because I don't think I have half the grace that any of you have while answering that while you're up on stage with the mic. So I have for you, Radhika, okay. four stupid questions that you have been asked in the past. Okay. And you don't need to answer them if you don't want to. I would just like to know what is your first thought when something like this happens, when okay. you're out there promoting a product, promoting a okay. movie. So are you ready now for the stupidest questions sure. from your career? <laughs> so question number one, Radhika. This happened, I think, during uh, Batman. You don't have any cat fight with your side. How do you feel about it? Yeah, there's a lot of drama in your life. I don't know what to do in your life. <laughs> but is that weird when people are still uh, uh, still ask you about if like actresses can be friends because you've been it out for long yeah. enough? Yeah, I think it's such a cliched, boring it's notion, uh, and it's also <laughs> categorizes women in a yeah. particular yeah. way that is so boring and not true. And not true at all. Yeah. Two thousand and late, hundred yeah. percent. Okay, this happens sometime around parched. So, kya Radhika, bold ya controversial hona important hai apni career ke liye? Is it important? <laughs> Well, it can be important for some people, <laughs> but no, it's not important for me. Okay, <laughs> this was my favorite. Radhika, toilet ek prem katha se lekar bazaar tak ka safar kaisa raha? Aye, how many people ask me this? <laughs> and how you reacted each time? I mean, like each time, like do you, do you, what time do you sort of let the joke go? No, I mean, in I was in London for a month and a half almost. Yeah. For a holiday. And it was so nice to like not have people asking for selfies or anything. I was really enjoying it. Mm. And we had gone for a road trip somewhere and on the way back we stopped to pee. Mm. <laughs> Actually. And there was this Indian family who was like, up toilet man. <laughs> And I was actually in the queue to go to the bathroom. I just looked at her and said, no. <laughs> and she said, you're an actress. I said, what? No. <laughs> Do you just deny being an actress when you're wrong? That? They asked me, are you Radhika? I said, who? No. Hey, oh, hey, Radhika. <laughs> okay, cool. Next up. Your hero is very famous for being a prankster. Do you play any pranks on this set? This, I'm told, is apparently the most annoying question to be asked by I mean, multiple people... different actors. No, I just think that I like playing pranks. Mm -hmm. I play lots of pranks. I think, you know, that's some, that's a way of sort of breaking the ice. It's a way of finding a way of communicate and sort of bonding. But when, bonding you, but when you're and, on set, is there enough time for all these pranks? There's so much time on set, really? always. <laughs> of course, uh, while the cinematographer is lighting everything, there's lots of time. While well, you wait on your vanity. Okay, so lots of pranks on Radhika's set. And finally, this I think lots of people ask, not specifically you, that your XYZ film didn't do as well on the box office, mm. the last film. How do you feel about it? How are you feeling about I think uh, failure is a part of everything. Mm -hmm. I think uh, we need to look at failure as, as something that we should respect as well mm. and not make it into something, you know, we should, we should allow people to fail. Absolutely. Uh, how else do you succeed? Then? Exactly. Oh, how else do you learn? How yeah. else can you make take risks? Mm -hmm. I think. So I'm ready to fail, it's fine. Ready to fail, but thankfully you're not failing a whole oh, lot. So it's working out very well. We're coming back to the film on Beriyar. I would need you to tell me why I must absolutely watch this amazing madcap comedy? Uh, I think it's a it's a very different film. Mm. Uh, Pia Sukanya, who's the director of the film, mm. it's her debut film and her sense of humour is very different. Mm. I think a lot of the film, according to me, is her. Mm. Um, the character is sort of her. Oh, interesting. I think, I think not all her, but a lot, <laughs> but a lot sort of about of. the character is yeah. about like her. She's a very, very, very endearing, mm. compassionate person. Um, and it, it's it has a it has a lot of things. It has really good flavors of Bombay, mm. and you know different characters and how you you change you change how you look at them. 
It also speaks about a very important social cause that needs to be highlighted, I, I think. Uh, so maybe for all these reasons, you should go That's watch it. more than one reason. Thank you so much, Radhika, <laughs> for this you. conversation. Looking forward to the film. Thank and you. all the best for a kick ass year. And I hopefully, hope so. new omnipresent jokes happen this I year. I really hope so. Right? Thank That's you. That's a new headline. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.